Hi, Church. Welcome today to the devotions. My name is Andy Smith, and I'm the team's pastor here at Audacious Church, and it's great to be with you today. Uh, we're looking today at being fearlessly devoted, but in a physical sense. What does it physically look like to be fearlessly devoted? I want to look at Acts 2, verse 42 today, which says they, they the disciples, the early church, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. The first church got these fundamental things in place, being around the teaching of the word, so being in church, spending time with like-minded people uh, that were also trying to live for Jesus in actually a society that didn't accept and didn't kind of, wasn't for what they were for, eating together and remembering who Jesus was and what he did for them, and then last of all, spending time and speaking and listening to God in their own personal prayer and devotion. It's like a blueprint and the foundations of what looking uh, looking and living devoted for God looks like. But, but fearless devotion speaks of something else. Fearless devotion talks about something when you do something that you, um, you know is right and understand there's possible consequences and things that might not be accepted by people that stick into your decision. It's a little bit like Daniel in the Bible when he's there's a law made and the, the law is do not pray to any other gods, just pray to the king. And he says, no, nah, I'm going to pray to God every day. Why? Because he was not just devoted. He was fearlessly devoted. He knew there was a consequence, but he said, God means more to me than the consequences that could possibly happen. Then you've got Noah. He builds an ark in the middle of a desert and people mock him for it. He wasn't just devoted to doing it. He was fearlessly devoted. I mean, the poor guy had to be because he was building a massive boat. Uh, he couldn't exactly hide a big boat. But um, you've got shepherd boy David running towards Goliath. He wasn't just devoted to God. He was fearlessly devoted, running towards something that to the eyes of everybody else looked like a sure thing that he was going to die. So... Really, for these people, I think the secret, the understanding of it was actually there was they had a firm foundation of devotion. They had a firm foundation of knowing who God was, what they were about. They spoke to God. They understood who God kind of was in their lives and all these other things. And then what happened was is that internal devotion at some point came out as a fearless devotion. Why? Because they understand who understood who God was and actually they wanted to have that affect the way that they live. Fearless devotion doesn't necessarily mean you have to jump on Instagram or social media and tell all the whole world about things you don't understand, you don't stand for, and you want to believe and all this sort of thing. That's not really what I don't think what fearless devotion really looks like. It could actually be as simple as a teenager making a decision to not drink at a party when everyone else is drinking. And then there's the there's the possibility of that young person becoming, you know, getting mocked or getting like laughed at because they're not doing what everybody else is doing, but they understood who they are and they understood why they've made that decision in the first place and they're going to be fearlessly devoted in that in that moment to actually not go against what they already had planned to do it could actually be starting a prayer meeting if you're a christian in your workplace and saying hey at lunchtime on a thursday i'm going to just be in this room going to be praying for half an hour it could be that that could be your fearless devotion because you already have a prayer life but actually there's this like opportunity to sort of um be fearless in that in your in your workplace it could even be telling someone simply that you actually have a faith in jesus christ that could be the first step of fearlessness that you have of uh, talking to someone about the faith that you have i think devotion to god can sometimes feel like a bit of a private act it could be something that like you know you you're praying you you, you read the bible um, unless you stand like on the front of your house and read the bible out loud to the rest of your street but um like you pray you serve and you come to church but there's this fearless part that we're talking about as being audacious is a fearlessness that comes, that only comes really when there's challenge and something comes against because you either are fearful of what's going to happen or you're going to say, hey, I'm going to be fearless and fearlessly devoted. Why? Because I know who God is. I know that he's got a plan for me. And I know that God, I know what God has done. I know what God is doing. And I know that God's got plans for me that are great and awesome. And there's a future. And that, that, let's be honest, we've got the end of the book. We know that he wins. So there's a fearlessness that can come because you've got your firm foundation, solid devotion to God. Hey, I don't know what devo fearlessly devoted physically looks like for you in your life. I want you to have a think about that, have a prayer about that after you've finished watching this video and say, hey, God, what does it look like in my life to be fearlessly devoted? What can I do? And uh, I just pray that it will open up opportunities, open up doors for you to speak to people about faith 
And hey, who knows, in the next few weeks, someone that you've been, because you've been fearlessly devoted, maybe someone's going to be in church making a decision that you know because you've had a conversation that's opened up something. Hey, church, have a great day, and I will see you soon. We love you. See ya.